Hello, my name is Teresa Tobols, president of the Gulala Sioux Tribe, located in South Dakota on a Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. I'm doing this release to all interested parties, to everybody who is interested in the massac Wounded Knee Massacre site here in Wounded Knee. You're all aware of the incident that happened on May 1st of 2010 where a Colorado National Guard unit was very interested in coming to visit the site and to visit some of the descendants of uh, Chief Bigfoot to find out uh, our perspective of what happened at that site. They wanted to know um, how we felt, how the trauma, the grief, the suffering was upon our people. And, and due to the fact that this was a good opportunity to start the healing process between the two nations, the, the uh, Lakota, Dakota, North Dakota Nation and, and the white society, I took this as an opportunity to, to look at it as a healing process because we always say we want to change, we want, we want a better life for our people and what better change and to start the healing process. The May 1st incident brought controversy and I feel that that controversy could be turned into a positive. Therefore, I'm issuing, issuing this release asking that the descendants of the Wounded Knee Massacre, uh, Chief Bigfoot and his band, please come together. They've been identified to be living on the Cheyenne River Sioux Reservation, Standing Rock Sioux Reservation, Rosebud Sioux Tribe Reservation, and the Oglalas, the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. I'm encouraging the descendants to come together and to organize and to help each other on what that site really means to the descendants. If it's sacred, what are we gonna to do to put it in a sacred state? Are we gonna get it designated as a sacred site? There's so many issues that need to be addressed and I'm really encouraging all the descendants of Chief Bigfoot to come together to unite, to sit down and discuss all of this and come up with a, a plan, a proposal which will help where we can monitor and regulate the, the, the site if it's going to be declared sacred. I know there's some uh, government regulations that we have to follow just to get it declared. I, I'm, I'm unaware of any history of it being declared as a sacred site, so maybe that's a possibility the descendants could do is first get it declared if it hasn't been. But you need to come together and think of your, your ancestors, your uh, relatives who were massacred at Wounded Knee and uh, what would they want? How would they want us to uh, take care of that place? So I'm re issuing, issuing this release to have all the descendants please come together and let, let, let's work together and come up with a plan. Um, the tribal government is willing to help uh, in any way we can, but I think the first step is with the defendants, descendants, uh, not tribal government. I, I again encourage everybody to get involved. Thank you.